Hi, my name is Ines. I'm a London-based entrepreneur and the founder of Sculpt. Sculpt is a personal care brand focused on rethinking our everyday care. That's one of my big inspirations, is trying to go back to how people were doing it hundreds of years ago. And on the other hand, a big inspiration for me is to find innovative solutions on how to create products that are eco-friendly and sustainable. I think skin cleansing is one of the most neglected ritual, but when you feel tired and you just go and get your shower, well, you feel instantly uplifted and energized. And I think that it's just really important to reintroduce appreciation into those really small and simple things. So that's what we try to do with Sculpt, is rethinking those really, really basic products that I call smart basics, because not only they're good for your skin, they're also eco-conscious and also they make you feel better. When I grew up in Morocco, we had this bathing culture called the hammam, in which you go to a very hot room and you get this exfoliation. And basically in this culture, they explain you that a simple shower is not a way to really cleanse your skin. When I came in London, there were no alternative of you know, the hammam. And I realized that I had so many steps in my skincare routine and my hair routine and my makeup, but I just didn't have anything that would allow me to cleanse my skin well. And I just thought it didn't really make sense. So when I went to Japan a few years ago, I discovered the approach of beauty of the Japanese people, which is pretty much like, they like to have their approach to beauty being like simplified and backed by science. So it's all about thinking long-term and a routine that is really minimal. So that's kind of what inspired me to reinvent the skin cleansing ritual. This is, I think, a real passion point for me, is to think of products that are actually durable. You're buying less, but you're buying good things that will last you for a long time. The biggest problem in our culture is disposability. So it's not just about finding like recycled material, but it's more about finding product that will last for a long time, that you don't need to replace every, every month. And that's a big passion point for me, finding those new system, those new innovation, those amazing designer that come up with, with new solution. I think that's just very inspiring because it's not just about trying to build a brand that relates to a specific trend. That's not what I want to do. I want to build a brand that is really different from what we see out there. The biggest challenge that I'm facing is as a solo founder is that on one hand, I have to be the business person, the business manager focusing on, you know, like the whole like rational aspect of the business. And on the other hand, I'm also the, the product designer and to a large extent, uh, the artistic director. And the hard thing is that as an artistic director of my brand, I like to sometimes make bold decisions and be more creative. But on the other hand, I need to make sure not to go into something that is too risky. So just trying to find the balance between your creativity and your business ambition, I think that is my biggest challenge. The best advice would be for me to really work until you make it happen. And when you make it happen, when you know it's tangible, it's there, then you can talk about it. But I would say action before talking is really important. It will also preserve your creativity. So that would be my best advice, is just go for your idea before exposing it to the world.